So the first thing that you're going to need to do is set up a Stripe account so you can actually take payments. Now you don't have to actually pay anything to create a test Stripe account and it only takes like a couple of minutes to do this. So once you're signed up over on Stripe.com you should see your dashboard and you can see I've already had a few payments taken under test mode and you'll notice that it's on test mode by default so we're all good to go we can just use our API keys to make charges to cards uh, the test cards that we saw earlier so we can do all of this and we don't have to pay a penny we don't have to give any of our details anything like that it's all within one secure environment so what we're going to need to do in this part is set up plans that we're going to allow our users to sign up for and you can set up as many plans as you want or you can just have one single plan if that's what you're after and then we're going to look at the API keys and how we get them into Stripe so let's do this now let's head over to plans and let's uh, click on create your first plan and we need to give this an ID it can literally be anything but I'm going to create two plans a small and a big plan so the ID for that is just going to be small. Uh, we then can choose an amount. So I'm going to say $5 for this one. And I'm going to have the intervals monthly. Now you can set trial period days, but we're not going to cover that. You can go ahead and look into that. It's really, really easy to do with Laravel Cash here. So I'm going to create that plan and I'm going to go ahead and create another one now as well. And this is going to be the large plan. So we'll call this large. And this will be $10 instead, so $10. And that's going to be monthly as well. Again, we're just going to create that plan like that. So we've now created two Stripe plans. Let's take a look around our account area to see what information that we can grab from this. So under API keys, you can see that we've got a set of test API keys and a set of live API keys. Now we need to store these inside of Laravel so it can make use or, or Cashier can make use of them when we install Cashier. We're not installed Cashier yet, but we will be doing so in the next video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the test secret key. Now this is really important that this is kept secret. The publishable key can be used for things like the JavaScript library. So um, when we take a payment and uh, use this uh, the uh, Stripe JavaScript library to process this. But please keep your test secret key secret. Um, now we need to look at the difference as well between the test and the live because the test will allow you to use test cards. Live will obviously be when your application is in production and you are accepting credit card or debit card information from public. So let's copy this test secret key and get this into Laravel. Now at the moment I have um, a blank Laravel installation. It literally is just nothing at all. So we are starting completely afresh. If you're integrating this into your application, you'll probably find this just as easy. So under config, we've got um, a services file. And you can see here that it already includes a key in here and an array of data for Stripe. Now this is for your production environment, but we're going to want to use a local environment. So in services here, you can go ahead and you can put in your live key. And that can go into there. Now, for your local, your development version, you're going to want to be able to use test cards. So under this local folder in config, head over to, oh, actually, we don't have one, so let's create one here. And we'll create a file called services.php. We're literally just imitating what's here. Um, we can go ahead and grab this whole file, I guess, and just paste that in like this, although I'm not using these two services because this is just a test. So I guess I can just get rid of them. So under the secret here, this is for our local version. So we want to use this test information here or this test key here. So let's replace that in there. So we've now got these set up, but at the moment we're actually in production. Uh, for example, if we were to run migrate, you can see that it says application in production. So what we need to do here is under bootstrap start, we need to change our um, environment. And I'm going to do this by detecting whether or not a environmental variable is set. And that's when I'm going to assume that uh, we're in production. Now, otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that we're in local. All I want to do is return get EMV. And we can put anything in here. So app EMV. 
otherwise we're going to return local so that will assume that we're in local so now when we run something like migrate it just gives us this error because we haven't entered our correct database information yet however um, we didn't get the production warning so we are now in a local environment um, if this doesn't make sense to you or if you don't want to worry about doing this you can use uh, the uh, method under cache here and this is if we just scroll down set stripe key so you can do that in one of your initialization files the only reason I do it under local and development is it just makes it easier for pushing to production to automatically switch to your live stripe key now we can test that our API key is being returned correctly by basically just using config get and this is what Laravel cache is going to do later so we're going to say config get services stripe secret so services stripe secret so that should output this ending in 2h because we're currently within our local environment and let's check, just check that out and it does in fact say 2h so we've now got our uh, stripe plan set up we've got our api key and we've got our api key into laravel we can now go ahead and install cashier